July 15, 2001, a computer virus was born. It wasn't just any other computer virus. It was the virus that had infected more than 200,000 computers around the world. During the last time it was active, it infected another 250,000 computers. But yet, it did not cause the severe disruptions everyone expected. Many suspected that the virus could may as well cause the end of the internet infrastructure. It had already started to deface the websites with hacked by Chinese. It also launched a denial of service attack on the White House website. But who was behind it? What was this virus? And why was this created? Let's find out. The code red and code red the second virus popped up in the summer of 2001. Both uh, worms exploited an operating system vulnerability that was found in machines running Windows 2000 and Windows NT. The vulnerability was a buffer overflow problem. Like when the buffers on a machine were completely full, it would start writing data onto the memory of the computer. The original code red worm initiated a distributed denial of service attack on the White House. That means all the computers infected with code red tried to contact the web servers at the White House at the same time, overloading the machines. Although the code red virus defaced with the phrase hacked by Chinese, many people suggested that it couldn't have been another American versus Chinese hacker war. Hence, it is still unclear as to who had built this virus. After starting on a machine, it would do the following things. Defacing the website to display. Hello, welcome to www.worm.com. Hacked by Chinese. Other activities based on the day of the month that it would do. From the day's first to the 19th day of the month, it would try to spread itself by looking for more IIS servers on the internet. From days 20th to 27th, it would launch denial of service attacks on several fixed IP addresses. The IP addresses of the White House was among these. From days 28th to end of the month, it sleeps. No active attacks were caused during this time. The first version of the code red worm caused very little damage. The worm did deface web pages on some machines with the phrase hacked by Chinese. Although the worm's attempt to spread itself consumed resources on the infected machines and local area networks, it had little impact on the global resources. The code red version worm was memory resistant, so an infected machine could be eased disinfected by simply rebooting it. However, once rebooted, the machine was still vulnerable to repeat infection. Any machines infected by code red version 1 and subsequently rebooted were likely to be reinfected because each newly infected machine probes the same list of IP addresses in the same order. Soon, on July 19th of 2001, a new variant of the virus, totally random IP addresses was generated. This relatively minor change gave it the power to infect over 359,000 machines in just 14 hours. And then another new variant of this virus was found on August 4th, 2001. This new virus had increased its spreading power by almost 50% from code red version 2 and this time it wasn't as harmless as its predecessors. This time around it this virus would also install a backdoor in the system. This was a security nightmare for all users of Microsoft IIS servers and this was this would allow the hacker to gain access to the computer and the main owner would lose access to this computer. Now that's huge damage. 
This prompted Microsoft to soon release a bug fix for the Microsoft IIS buffer overflow problem pretty soon, leading to the death of this virus. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and comment down below for other interesting viruses that you think we should take a look into.